how to sew the invisible zipper onto the back skirt. To apply the zipper first, we want to freeze the patterns by selecting all the patterns except the back skirt patterns. After that, right click and select freeze. Next, we want to strengthen the back patterns. Simply marquee select both of them, right click and select strengthen. We will then use the editing sewing tool to remove the sewing by clicking on the sewing. Then right click and select delete sewing. Next, we want to simulate the garment. After that, use the zipper tool. Click on it to select, then click once on the top edge of the center line, hover the mouse down, leaving a small gap at the bottom, and double click to end the zipper. Do the same on the opposite side, click once to start and double click to end. Next, simulate to see the result. If there's an issue with the zipper not being even, you can either try to fix it or delete the zipper using the select move tool. Click on the zipper and press delete or backspace on the keyboard to remove it. Simulate again, then go to the zipper tool and click on the top edge to start. Hover the mouse down and double click to end. After that, sew the opposite side by clicking once to start and double click to end. Finally, simulate to see the end result. Customizing the zipper to an invisible zipper, we want to change the tool to the select move tool, then click on the zipper. Next, go to the property editor and scroll down to the size. Change the teeth width to 0.1, then press return or enter to confirm, and change the total width to 0.3, pressing return or enter to confirm. Next, simulate again to see the zipper. After that, change the slider. While on the Select Move tool, click on the slider and go to the Property Editor. Change the stopper to Closed End. Then, change the slider and puller to an invisible zipper. Finally, change the top and bottom to Small. After that, simulate once more to see the end result. Apply the elastic and make the linings for the top. First, we want to unfreeze the patterns by using the Transform Pattern tool. Simply marquee select the patterns, then right-click and select Unfreeze. We also want to strengthen the pattern as well by marquee selecting all the patterns, then right click and select strengthen. Next, to apply the elastic, we will use edit pattern tool. Click on this pattern edge, then press shift and continue clicking. After that, go to the property editor and turn on the elastic. Change the strength to five and press return or enter. Then change the ratio to 100 and press return or enter to confirm. Simulate to see the effect. We also want to apply the elastic on the back skirt patterns. Click on the back skirt pattern, press shift, and continue clicking to select the opposite side of the skirt. Go to the property editor, turn on the elastic, then change the strength to five and the ratio to 100. Simulate to see the effect. Making the linings for the top. To make the linings, first freeze the skirt patterns using the transform pattern tool. Marquee selects all the skirt patterns, right click and select freeze. After that, Marquee selects both of the top patterns. Right-click and select Layer Clone, Under. Press Shift for the guideline to appear and click once to place the patterns. Next, hide the avatar, go to the vertical toggle menu, the avatar display, and show avatar. Applying the fabric. To apply the fabric, first unfreeze the patterns. Go to the library panel, then double-click on the fabric folder to open it. Type Silk in the search box and press Return or Enter to confirm. Select Silk Charmos, click, drag, and drop onto the fabric to apply. Simulate to see the effect on the garment. Changing the color of the fabric. To change the fabric color, first, freeze the pleats, then, unstrengthen the rest of the patterns. Go to the object browser and click on the fabric. In the property editor, click on the color chip to bring up the color window and select a light green color to match the dress specifications. Change the fabric type to Fabric Silk slash Satin. To see the shine, turn on high quality rendering. In the property editor, change the reflection intensity to 24. Apply the fabric onto the linings to apply the fabric color onto the linings. Go to the object browser, ensure the fabric is selected and click on copy. Rename this fabric lining. Marquee select both linings, then click on the assign button to apply the fabric. To change the color, go to the color chip, click on it and change the color to cream. Click on apply and close. Apply the same fabric onto the neck collar to apply the same fabric onto the neck collar. Cut the collar using the trace tool. Begin by clicking on the first line. Press shift and click on the next line. Press return or enter to turn them into internal lines. Select both internal lines, right click and select cut and sew. Apply the same fabric as the bodice by clicking on the fabric and dragging it onto both collar pieces. Customizing a zipper, to change the zipper color, select the zipper using the Select Move tool. 
go to the property editor, scroll down to the color chip, click on it to bring up the color window and use the eyedropper tool. Click on the fabric to extract the color, hover the mouse over the color window, press escape and click on apply. Return to the property editor, slide the sidebar down until you see tape, then click on color. Use the eyedropper tool and click on the skirt fabric to extract the color. Hover the mouse over the color window and press escape to exit the eyedropper tool, then click apply. Changing the slider to metal. To change the invisible zipper slider, click on the slider to select it. Go to the property editor, change the material type to metal, render only, and use the eyedropper tool to match the dress color. Hover the mouse over the color, press escape and click apply and close. We also want to strengthen the pattern as well by marquee selecting all the patterns, then right click and select strengthen. Rendering the garment. To render the garment, unfreeze the pleat pattern and shrink the linings to 95%. Marquee select both linings, go to the property editor and change the shrinkage weft to 95%. Press return or enter to confirm. Simulate to see the effect, then stop the simulation. Unstrengthen the garment by marquee selecting, right clicking and selecting unstrengthen. Hide the internal lines by going to the vertical toggle menu, selecting garment display, and clicking on show internal lines to turn them off. Marquee selects both linings, go to the property editor, changes the shrinkage back to 100% and press return or enter to confirm. Strengthen the patterns and simulate one more time to see the effect. Change the particle distance to 10. Marquee select all patterns, go to the property editor, scroll down until you see particle distance and type in 10. Press return or enter to confirm. Finally, simulate to see the garment's result. Unstrengthen the garment by marquee selecting, right clicking and selecting unstrengthen. Change the skin offset and modify the undergarment. First, show the avatar by going to the vertical toggle menu, then to avatar display and turning on show avatar. To change the skin offset, go to the property editor. Change the skin offset to one and press return or enter. Next, to change the undergarment to nude, go to skin style, Click on Style Configurator, change the underwear to nude, and click OK to confirm. Simulate by marquee selecting all patterns, right-clicking, and selecting Strengthen. Click the Simulation button. Finally, stop the simulation, unstrengthen the garment, and you're done. And there you have it, designistas. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. This will help people in need find this video more easily on YouTube. Remember to follow me on Encoder Fashion for more CLO videos focusing on pattern making.